There, okay, full. Full gas. Full gas. We're ready to go. I can't I don't know if we're both in this or we're not. Full of gas. <laughs> <laughs> we're full of gas and ready to go. Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a vlog. It's time again though. Uh, this time we're actually taking a road trip in Todd's new Corvette. The reason for the road trip, if you haven't figured it out from the title of the vlog yet or from the cover photo, we're going to Palmyra, Illinois to check out a 2016 Z06 Corvette. It's actually a lot of fun now because we get to do this together in Todd's new car. He's filling up with gas, has to put in the 93 octane. It's really noisy out here, and you can tell, you can tell that the weather is pretty crappy. Not a great day for a um, road trip. Not a great day for a road trip, but when the opportunity arises, we've got to take advantage of it. Say something for the camera. What up? This is my new car. Sitting alone, singing my song, and hoping the world just slows down. I lay on the grass and stare at the stars. It seems like the moon is smiling. We've been on the road for about five hours now. We left early this morning. It was only 19 degrees in Omaha and we're on our way to Palmyra. Fortunately, the cold front hasn't gone all the way to Palmyra yet. Um, so it's gonna be 41 degrees, but it's rainy outside. And that's gonna kind of suck because we gotta drive the cars in this rain. But again, the cars aren't, aren't meant to be looked at. They're meant to be driven. So we can always wash them, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll wash them tonight. <laughs> So we're quite excited about this trip because, not only because we're gonna be looking at a 2016 Z06, but we're also excited because we get to do this trip together as father son, and we get to do it together in a pair of Corvettes. So the plan is to hopefully buy the 2016 Corvette, drive it back so we can do a road trip back together, and then we might even stop to see my brother Lee. It just so happens that Palmyra, Illinois is about an hour and a half away from my brother's house, and his house will be passing just south of it by about 30 minutes on the way home. So we thought if he's available, we might take a little detour, go up to see him, uh, say hi and show him the new cars. He hasn't seen either one of them yet. I don't think he knows that we have, that you have this vet or that I'm even looking at another one. But anyway, we should learn a little bit about Todd's car. He just bought this car about a month ago, a month and a half ago. We were on, uh, we were in Minneapolis visiting family for Thanksgiving, and Todd was in the market for a Corvette. We found this online, I believe. Actually, Sarah found this one online, and it was in Minneapolis. We went to take a look at it, and Todd ended up driving it home. He bought it first and then drove it home. But the car is quite special. It only has 38,000 miles. It's a 2008 Atomic Orange. It's a one-owner car with 38,000 miles, and the guy who owned it put about $19,000 worth of upgrades on the car, including uh, a souped up cam, which pushes the car to a little over, with all the upgrades, it pushes the car to over 500 horsepower. Pretty awesome for the 2008 uh, LS3s. It also has Z06, upgraded Z06 brakes, uh, drilled and slotted rotors. The car has been lowered on coilover suspension, adjustable coilover suspension. Um, he has ZR1 uh, style wheels and ZR1 uh, spoilers and side skirts all the way around the car, all carbon fiber. So those are a bunch of the really cool, obvious things that you can kind of see just looking at the car. But when you hear it run, it has this incredible lope to it that makes the car just sound incredibly mean. And I'm taking all the time. Have you, you got something to add there to it? Um, it also has updated headers. Um, not that I really know what that means yet. But yeah, me neither. <laughs> um, it has uh, the mild to wild exhaust. That's right. So that's that's when you can have it be quiet or loud. So this one's a 4LT, which is the high.
highest, most optioned interior package you could get for 2008. So it has the heated seats and the two-tone leather. Yeah. Like that. Show you a little bit around the car here while I'm in it. Not that sure. That. Oh, and it's a six-speed. With a very short shifter, that's another oh. thing the guy added. This short throw is probably like two centimeters. I'm singing along, singing my song, and hoping the world just slows down. All right, I'm having cold feet. We're 1.1 mile away. I think we should probably just turn around and go home. Okay. Just kidding. We're not going home. Arrive at Smokey Jennings Chevrolet Incorporated. What? <laughs> Arrived at Smokey Jennings Chevrolet Incorporated. I don't see it. Oh no. Isn't that small of a dealership? Where All right, Palmera. Keep... Oh, there's Chevy. All right, good. That was a little scary. <laughs> okay, this looks more like a Chevrolet dealership. There it is, Smokey Jennings Chevrolet. And we're here. So what do you think? It's exactly <laughs> what I was looking for. I've been looking for this all my life. <laughs> <laughs> so is this your last car then? This is my last car then. I heard Until that before. <laughs> <laughs> Until the next one. <laughs> it does look good. Ooh, it smells brand new. Can you guys smell that? Smell that. Smell that. Mm. <laughs> Carbon fiber competition seats, seven speed transmission, more storage than a Ford Focus. <laughs> Looks good. Stop for our first meal of the day after buying the new Z06. We're ready for the road trip back. We're gonna switch cars for just a little while. I'm gonna drive Todd's and he's gonna drive the blue one. Thank you. 
Todd and I are on our way back. drive the Z06 now back home and the sun is shining but don't let that fool you because it is freezing outside. I have to say that this car is absolutely phenomenal. I love the ride, I love the feel, the tightness of it, the speed, the power, but you know what I really like? One thing that's impressed me more than anything so far is the Apple CarPlay. I really didn't know what that was until I plugged in my phone to get it charged because my phone is just about ready to die and the car, the, the actual uh, entertainment screen, took over my phone. I was able to make phone calls through my phone without even Bluetooth connecting. I needed to set up navigation to go see my brother so I could figure out where my brother's house is since I haven't been there yet. Sorry, Lee. When I hooked it up to uh, get the navigation, it was so cool how it kind of became a dual screen in that the main screen, the main navigation map showed up on the big screen and the um, turn by turn direction showed up on my phone. You know, I was able to see when incoming text messages were coming. Everything shows through on this big screen down here right there. You can kind of see right now that I've got my phone plugged into it. In fact, I'll quick turn on the um, navigation. So you can see over here, it's turn by turn directions, but up here I got the map. Pretty dang cool, huh? <laughs> She didn't hit the camera. <laughs> right. Okay, we're in Kirksville. We're following my brother home to his house. I've never been there before, but we're following him in the pickup. So this is Kirksville. Okay, I've got to take a quick video here of the brothers together. Okay, it's the first time I've been here in Kirksville. We made a video of our little road trip. But, but so, just so Amber can see, this is where Lee lives. This is the home. We're here on the road trip. Todd, Lee, and it's freaking cold out here. It doesn't look like it in the pictures, but it is cold. Can you guys attest to it? It's gonna be cold for a week. Okay, it's just about ready to die, but I have to prove that we were here in uh, Lee and Doreen's home. We actually made it. Does it does exist. We made it. And look at the little puppies. What are their names again? Jackie. That's Jackie. Yeah. Maggie buddy. over here. And Buddy. And Buddy. And buddy. And look at those tongues. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they all. Look at that. Oh. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Give Lee a lick. Give him a kiss. He tried. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, well it's been a great day, obviously because I'm driving home in my new 2016 Z06. It, it's really a dream come true. Anyway, I need to sign off now because the battery's dying and it could go anytime. Ah, just kidding. Uh -huh, but it really is going to die pretty soon. So, hoping the world just
us.